Our sinker is way up the line. It's not good, it might be tangled. Whoa, whoa, big fish. I didn't know it. Whoa, I saw a big tail, way bigger than I thought. It's autumn now, and on today's adventure, I'm headed to a wild and seldom fished river that has produced many giants in the past. We will travel the river via canoe and fish a series of deep holes, with the dream being cooking into a giant river catfish. Let's go. Hello guys, I don't really know if we're going to be able to run the game plan that we really wanted to run. The water's pretty cold though. We're going to use some range cubes as chum um, for one of our rods because the bait you can catch from where you're fishing is the best bait you can possibly have. How about that bait right there man? That's a big one. Okay, that's a head of gizzard shad, smaller body chunk. Fresh piece of gizzard chad. Nice bluegill. Does something want to have a piece of that drum? Something's swimming with that, y'all. Something is swimming with this drum. We'll wait. That was really weird. I don't think that was the drum swimming with that eight ounce weight. Okay guys, so we're gonna put this whole night crawler on a 164th ounce jig head out where we put our range cubes as chum, okay? There we go. No. Nothing on there? Looks like there are turtles out today. All of our baits are finally set. I'm gonna sit down, drink some water. We'll catch something, I'm pretty confident of it. That'll be a fish on. Oh man. Well, it's slick mud. Fighting me, buddy. Fight me. Ooh, good fish. If you wonder why I like these, it's because um, they make excellent bait and they're hard fighting. So what I'm gonna do is fillet him up and uh, maybe cut some chunks on him and we're gonna put him in the ice chest. Nice fish. Freshly cut, bloody. Carp. Something smashed that carp fillet right there. I missed a fish on that fresh fillet of carp. They happen to be covered in blood. Whoa, this is something else, man. Okay, I think he's crossed my lines. What is this? Moments after I put the worm back out too. Oh my goodness. What is it? It's bigger, I'm just gonna let you know. It's bigger. Wow, this one's really big, whatever it is. Definitely gonna have to have a net. Now granted, I'm using a bass rod, okay, medium action. I do have 20 pound braid. What is it? Oh, that may be why. It's hooked in the mouth, but I think it's tangled in its spine, or it might be snagged. No, it's hooked in the mouth. 
really, really, really solid common carp. I already have a common carp, but they'll fillet and then the cooler. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this big guy go. Here you go. If you've seen my videos before, you know that often there's a lot of waiting, hours and sometimes days before I get a good sized fish. So I was thankful to be hooking up with these river carp so early into the session. However, as much as I enjoy catching carp, they're not what I am after. No catfish took the bait in this deep hole. It's time to make a move to a new hole. He's muddy, but that's that live bait right there. That is a huge gizzard shad. Let's go put him on a hook fast. Huge gizzard shad live. Let's go. I've actually fished here a couple times. It's always an interesting place to fish. I've always though thought that this place had good potential. It's a very deep hole. Even with the water being low, it's 24 feet deep at the very deepest. And for right now on the river, that's super deep. Okay guys, small shad head. Changing it up a little bit, going out left. Very, very large shad. It died, but we've got two fresh slits in it. And it's just freshly dead, so it's going to be a money bait. Live shad right there, still kicking from the last spot. Carp fillet that we caught earlier. Live bluegill, good size, he's kicking. We're going to put him, I think, right on the bank out here. I'm going to walk up here and Put them on the corner there. Whoa. Better get this bluegill casted out. We have a fish on that small shad head. Man, he doubled it over. I think it's hooked up. Maybe a small fish, but that's a fish indeed. He's still on there too. Ugh. What do we got? My guess is a small catfish. So let's just see. If it's nothing, I'll be shocked. No, we just have to catch up to it. Got a little fighting guy here. Feels good to be hooked up with a catfish. Our sinker is way up the line. It's not good, it might be tangled. There we go. Come on, brother. Whoa, whoa, big fish. I didn't know it. Whoa, I saw a big tail. Okay, that looks way bigger than I thought. At least in the drag, he's really close. It's a good fish. I didn't think he was big. Wow. <laughs> He'd swam all around the hole. It took me a while to catch up with him. Ooh. Okay. It's on the bank, but I gotta hold on here. All right, let's get around to the front of the canoe. Wow surprisingly good fish here in the middle of the day that's what I'm talking about dude <laughs> small
small piece of shad head. Maybe little bait is where it's at today. Uh, there we go. Woohoo! Okay, nice fish right there. Really, really, really happy to catch it. How about that, y'all? That's freaking sweet. Have a look at him. Nice. I don't know. Let go. Fish is ready. Sweet. <laughs> it's just flying to the left, y'all. Like real strange. Still there too. Acting like a turtle, but really kind of swimming like a fish, to be frank with you. It's going too fast for a turtle, in my opinion. So I guess we'll let it run. Could definitely be a gar. We're just going to try and leave the line slack. Let it take off, okay? Whatever this is, man. It is moving. Okay, we're going to do a long sweep. Feels very large and not like a turtle. What is it? Is it a turtle? Okay, my lid is. What in the world? Turtle. Big soft tail turtle, doggone it. All right, well. I usually don't show turtles on my channel too much, but if we can get this guy up to shore, we'll show him. Wow. You really want that? Not even afraid of me. Look at him. He's trying to come at me. I do not like it. Got our bait back. 